Okay, that's the first reason. Second reason, when the prophet's teaching is being corrupted, so Allah will send another prophet to clarify the truth. Okay, so first one, prophet will send for specific time. That's what Allah said, another prophet. Second one, the prophet that came before, his teaching was corrupted. Allah will send another prophet to clarify. The third one, Allah will send the prophet specific for people. For specific people, Ben Israel, for Israelites. Yes? So Allah will send another prophet to different people. Yes? The last reason, Allah will send a prophet, another prophet, to aid and to help that prophet. For example, at the time of Yassin or Jesus and John, Yahya, the prophet John. Yes? So all these four reasons, after sending Prophet Muhammad, we can see the Quran and the Sunnah, Islamic teaching being preserved. Prophet Muhammad was sent to everyone. Prophet Muhammad teaching is valid for all the times. And if Allah want to send someone to aid Prophet Muhammad, he would have sent it during his lifetime. He never did. Therefore, logically speaking, that's why Prophet Muhammad teaching is the last uh, prophet. Also, Prophet Muhammad's teaching uh, spread out around the world. It was too fast. You know, the, the, the before, in, in the year after Prophet Muhammad passed away, 40 years, the Muslim empire, the Islamic empire, it was in the border of China, Africa, or 70 years maybe, Africa, and to Paris. Look how Allah spread Islam, you understand? And even now, Islam is spreading in the Western world. You know, it's... that Islam also has different factions, like uh, Aisha. No, Shia, Sunni. Shia, yeah, yeah, yeah. We come to it after, we come to it after. Yeah. But what is happening now, this is what our Prophet Muhammad told us. So when we see there's groups, we say Prophet Muhammad is a true messenger of Allah because he told us about it when all the Muslims, there were only one group. He told us that will happen, but he never left, left us without any clarification. He told us what is the correct way. He said to follow his way and the way of his companions, the way of the Sahaba, disciples. So that's why, why Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger. As for the prayer, praying all together, imagine you go through hardship when you come to the mosque, I wouldn't know. I say, how are you, brother? We say, Akhi, Akhi, my brother. And he say, you know, Shamsi, I'm going through hardship. Yeah, Akhi, Jamal, come. My brother, come. We try to help. So Islam build good society. Prophet Muhammad told us the Muslim Ummah is like one body. If any part of the body feel pain, the rest of the body feel pain. Prophet Muhammad told us, alayhi wa sallam, woe to the person who goes to sleep and his belly is full while his neighbor hungry. Hungry. Woe well, well to him. You know, woe to him. You know, uh, our neighbor, even if, it's not, even if our neighbor is not a Muslim, we have to take care of him. We have to look after him. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, no, no doubt. Jesus, we believe. But like I said, let me make something clear to you. I believe. I mean, Jesus spoke. That's why you probably... Yeah, yeah. I believe there's some truth in the Bible. No doubt. Because I believe in Jesus, Moses. However, I believe it was corrupted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I believe it was corrupted by Paul and by Constantine. Because both of them had a vision, and both of them start talking about Jesus to be God, Trinity, which doesn't make any sense. Trinity doesn't make any sense. Like the Father is God. So we have one God, it's enough. No, the Son is God. One of those, why all the food they have to use, I mean, meal, meat, sorry, in general, yeah. had to be halal. Well, in the Bible, it's No, no, before I'm talking to him, Baba. He's more, and some Muslims, eh? He's Aula, you know, he's a daif, he's a guest. Yes. So the Bible is nothing about halal. So why uh, the Quran say about eating halal? Why do we? I mean, because the Bible say you have to thank God for everything you yeah. eat. Because why is halal? Why is halal? Not about killing. I've been trying. To halal, say. halal, halal. When you say Bismillah. So if you say in the name of Allah and you slaughter it, it's halal. You see to bless it, you know. And that is on the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, you know Allah would to eat uh, um, pork. pork. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you're not allowed to eat other things as well. There's many things you're not allowed to eat in the Old Testament. Yeah, they change it because Jesus then after say something like, not it's not about the law. In your body, yeah. That you dirty, but what come out of your mouth because come from your heart. So. Yeah, but again, Jesus said that. <laughs> it's something we cannot really trust because why? Jesus also in the Bible said, I didn't come to abolish the law or the prophets. I came to fulfill it. Not to go against it, you know. When the young boy came to Jesus in John, I'm just using it to show you, you can see many contradictions. The young boy came to, to Jesus. He said, oh, good master, what should I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? Meaning, how can I get to paradise? Jesus, alayhi salam, said to him, 
keep the commandments of God. What is the commandment of God here? I mean the Torah. The young boy said to him, I have been doing it since I was young. Jesus said to him, you are lacking one thing. The young boy said to him, what is it? He said, give your wealth away and follow me. Give your wealth away and follow me, follow, okay? Now we can see clearly Jesus, he's telling the young boy to keep what? The Torah. And the Torah, what does he say? To not eat uh, pork and to not eat other things, understand? So in Islam, yes, that's why in Islam, yes, there's certain things we're allowed to eat and certain things we're not allowed to eat because logic dictates Allah is the creator of everything. So logically, he knows what is good for us in details. Barakallahu fiqh abhi. Barakallahu fiqh. Jazakallahu khair. He knows what is good for us in details. I'm going to argue near you the pork because I know pork is one of the reasons that you get a lot of infection. Yeah, yeah, a lot of disease. Yeah. I will understand a bit why. No, but even, even. That time, that it, yeah, but even God giving you something. Remember, God giving you something and telling you to say in the name of Allah, you have to listen to your God. And you want to bless it. That's uh, uh, I spoke to him. Uh, I spoke to him many times. Anyway, the, the, and I'm going to do it again. I'm refusing to speak to you another time. Okay. So now I'm speaking to him. So now uh, we say Bismillah as uh, to appreciate God. And what I will say to you imagine your father bring you to the house and he said you have to follow the rules. As a father, he is the owner of the house. You follow the rules. Yeah. But your father doesn't, yeah, your father doesn't know everything though. But Allah knows everything. Allah is the all wise. So whatever Allah told us to stay away from is bad for us. And whatever Allah, 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 Jalla wa Ala told us to do is good for us. I can give you an example. You know, Islam, Islam, I forgot your name, what's your name? Peter. Peter, yeah, Peter, Mark, I will not remember it now. Peter, because the Bible said, you know, what we say to Peter, what is distinguished Islam? What make Islam very special and very unique in any religion? Listen, Islam came to preserve five things. Islam came to preserve religion, the oneness of Allah. That's why in Islam, we're not allowed to pray to Prophet Muhammad. We're not allowed to pray to anything. We pray to Allah directly. Yeah, directly. We're not allowed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now, firstly, we're not allowed to pray to Prophet Muhammad Also, we're not, we're not allowed to be pagan. Paganism is haram, it's forbidden. Polytheism is forbidden. Now, second one, Islam. Second, Islam came to preserve intellect. Intellect. That's why Islam, alcohol, and drugs is forbidden. Everything that is forbidden. Yes. Thirdly, Islam came to preserve wealth. That's why gambling and interest is forbidden. Fourthly, Islam came to preserve life. Uh, Afun, sorry, lineage. Gambling because it's uh, how you call it. Anything Dish that can create a dependence. How to say? Destroy, destroy societies. Addicted. Yeah, addicted. Yeah. addicted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seen, no, uh, uh, societies. These destroy societies. Yeah. Also, Islam came to preserve lineage, families. That's why fornication, adultery is forbidden. Islam came to preserve life. That's why killing people unjustly and committing suicide is forbidden. These five things Islam came to preserve. The opposite of that is alcohol. In the Bible, alcohol is allowed. Wine. Wine is the blood of Jesus. In the Bible, say something like, "You can drink, but." There is no measure. You can mm. a drop or a glass to yeah, no. get you drunk and yeah. you get That's reason to other people to talk bad about you because they see you drunk, mm. then don't drink. But it's not like not drinking, it's more like because it cannot be so your reason may be a, a, a drop and you get drunk, What's right? The point to Just drink? a drop you get drunk and another one has a glass and you get drunk. So he cannot put them in. But Peter, Peter, sorry, Peter will say to you, scientifically proven now, if someone can Google it, even small amounts of alcohol is harmful for our body. I don't believe the Almighty God will even allow for us uh, alcohol because well, alcohol is very harmful to us. You understand? And you believe. Before, and there is no story when Jesus went to the Canaan. And make a wine. No, that's, we don't believe that. Yeah. No, no, we don't believe that. that yeah. That's from the Greek. Greek they, they, the, the Romans, they still like to drink too much. So, so they want to justify it. It's it correlated to, kind of, to the Genesis when he's saying the third day, Jesus transformed the world.
The water into wine. Taking to make a correlation with God when he's Yeah, we don't believe that. No, we don't believe that. Like I said, um, again, the, uh, the, those rights of the Bible, there's many things if you start questioning yourself and questioning their trustworthiness, you know. But what we say to you, what we say to Peter, that's why, you know, no doubt gambling, interest, fornication, and all of that, some people do benefit from them. Who are they? Those who are in power. They make money from them. That's why majority of times, those who are very hostile to Islam, those who are in power, because they look at Islam as a threat for their business. They will go bankrupt. So what they do, they use their money to make Islam look bad through the mainstream media. You know, even though Islam... I yeah. I, I know also that some bad things that happen about Islam, they say it's, not, uh, it's because they are a faction, not uh, specifically... Yeah, no, no, no doubt. But what I will say to you, look, they, 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 I don't, look, I'll show you the hypocrisy of the Western media. Do you know about the, the Christian uh, soldiers in, the, in the Central Africa who are killing the Muslims? You don't know, because why? The mainstream media will never tell you about them. There is a, and I don't blame every Christian. I don't, like, as a Muslim, Allah teach me to be just. There is, do you know about the Christians in Brazil that they kill other Christians? There is, there, but you never see them in the mainstream media in the Western world. But when it comes to Muslim, one Muslim stabbed someone in the cave in Algeria, you see in the live stream media here. Yeah. Is ah oh, a Muslim stabbed someone in the cave in Algeria? Because they look for anything to make Islam look bad. But even that, the f yeah. you know, question. Yeah. One question that he insists a lot of it. Why you don't consider Jesus as a son of God and you say that Jesus is only prophet? He's a Messiah too. No, he's just a cousin, alhamdulillah. He's a Messiah. But what we say to you, look, on, on Friday, someone from Romania became Muslim. He's the third person. There's three of them, you know? And the other person as well. So what we say to you, that um, when you come to Islam, there's a war against it. But what is the fastest growing religion in the Western world? Yeah, w w which religion is spreading more? Islam, Islam. You know, in Britain, Islam is inclining, going up. Christianity is going down. Christianity is spreading in 100 factions. Christianity is dying. Churches are empty. You know, because Islam, especially with this evil agenda, what's happening now, you know, this evil agenda that is pushing on our children, our families, the only religion that is standing firm against it is Islam. Islam, we don't back down. We don't play around. Yes. Allah created man, woman, chicken, Rat. There's no chicken, rat, rat, chicken, mixing stuff. Understand? Confusing. Yeah. Understand? So what I would say to you, we look to Islamic teaching, how it goes in line with our sound reasoning, with our natural inclination. Of course, you want to worship God. I want to worship God. But how are we going to worship God? According to our desires? Okay, that's it. And like I said to you, how can I follow a Bible, a book, that is being translated, firstly, by people who don't know them. Secondly, those who wrote the Bible, we don't know them. How can I trust it? When the Quran, there's many miracles. One of the miracles of the Quran, Peter, Allah challenged people to bring something like it. And no one is able to bring something like the Quran in its eloquency, in its prophecies, in its legislation. You know, the structure of the Quran. You know, when you, look to the, when you listen to the Quran, Arabic language, for example, let me mention something I just remember to show that Prophet Muhammad was not a, he was an honest person, not a liar. Did you know in the Quran, there's a chapter named after the mother of Jesus called Mary. Yeah, in the Quran. MashaAllah, Maryam. MashaAllah, Maryam. There's a chapter, Maryam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaking about the mother of Jesus. Do you know where? When Prophet Muhammad was in Medina. In Medina, there was Mecca and Medina. Medina, there were a lot of Jewish people in Medina. And the Jewish people in Medina, they believed Jesus was not a Messiah. He was a false prophet. And the Prophet Muhammad was there defending him, alayhi salatu wasalam. When we know, he will not get no benefit if he was a liar for defending Jesus in Medina to Jewish people. Because if he's a main target just to bring followers, he would have agreed with who? With the Jewish people to have more followers. Yeah, but what he did... He... But then explain to me something. Why the Quran cannot be modified? In the Quran, you cannot change Adam. Because it's perfect. Because it's perfect. Yeah, okay. Can you change perfect? 
they are faction of Islam. That's they good. They believe in different things. What happened? That's good. That's a good point. Because some Muslims, they like to follow their cultures. For example, I'll give you an example which is widespread here. Here, some Muslims, they force their daughters to get married to someone. I know. That's yes, that's not Islam. Would even they try to make it Islam. I'll give you a proof for that. Prophet Muhammad, when he was alive, sallallahu alayhi wa a woman came to him. She said, oh, messenger of Allah, my father got me married to someone without asking me. So the messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad, alayhi wa sallam, told her, you have a right to leave. She said, oh, messenger of Allah, I don't want to leave, I want to stay. But I want people to know they should not force their daughters to get married to someone they don't like. Secondly, we have some Muslims, when it comes to speaking about Allah, they speak about Allah according to the Greek philosophy. Why? Because they feel inferiority complex. They start using the Greek philosophy to explain Allah's attributes about Allah. And it happens to the Christians as well and to the Jewish people. So we can see why they left. Not because they are following. Because how do we know who is following the truth, who is not? Prophet Muhammad told us. That's why there is no prophet after him. Because whatever we need, he has told us. But like I said, some people, they like to follow their desires. For example, let me give you an example. How many times you go to shop and they tell you CCTV in cooperation? Most of the time. That's the, people still, still, people still, still, still take stuff and run away. Yeah, even though it's clear, time. even though it's clear, don't steal. Can I ask you a couple basic no, 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 after, after I'm speaking to him, after. This is a special guest. You know, you are not a special guest. You've been here many times. And I still yeah. got an answer <laughs> yeah, uh, first time. Yeah, I don't have to answer for you anyway, so you can leave. So you don't know the name of yeah, Allah? Yeah, uh, no, I know Allah's name, but you can leave. What is the name of Allah? Okay, you just said it. You just said it in the question, anyway. bro. It's like, it's like, it's it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, you don't know your name, Peter. Imagine, I'm telling you, Peter, and you don't know your name. He said, Allah. Jesus was anyway. the name. Okay. Anyway, so. Jesus. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Jesus either, Excuse me, we're not interested. We don't want to speak to you. Wanna, you never want to debate. So no, why no, you keep coming? I'm interested to listen to you, please. I know, because yeah. you guys are okay. Jesus okay. worshippers. We don't, we don't worship Baal. We don't worship Jesus. We don't. Bye bye. Yeah, anyway, go, go ahead. Do you have another question? Yeah. You don't worship Yeshua? Yeah. I am. So what is the name of Allah? The Bible was a bit confusing too. What is the name of Allah? Mostly New Testament. When they had a, a lot of, you know, like uh, Trinity and... Uh, then it, it's feeling like it's not complete. Like, you're right, yeah, you're right. It's saying that there's going to be a prophet. Yeah. And after this, no one came up. No prophet. Why? Yeah, I had my dad so, oh, on my way. I don't say. And then I made her and I talked to her. Alhamdulillah, she explained to you. And what prophet so, she helped you, mashallah. She helped you as well? Um, we had a lot of uh, conversations. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Agitated conversation at least. Alhamdulillah. You know what the answer is? What, what we say to you? I already know that answer. What we say, what we say to you? Look, akhwa, akhwa. Akhwa, tarko, tarko, leave him. What we say to you? That when you look to, like I said to you, no doubt we cannot trust the Bible. Hallelujah. Mostly Hallelujah. I told you because of the translation. We don't know how much it's being modified. That's it. But the point, we cannot trust it. How much? Yeah. But when it comes to Quran, we know exactly what Allah said because we have it in a pure language. Also, we have a chain of narration, narrators like me. I learned Quran from some brother called Nordin. Nordin, he learned from someone. We know. We know each other. For We know their names, their biographies. Even we have a manuscript, no doubt. We have a manuscript. والله لا 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 if it really happened something was that as I said some, there are some factions that think differently like killing they are allowed to kill because you know, what about what uh, sorry in, in, Prophet Muhammad that's what I say some faction I believe they, they went different yeah but that faction they, they opposed they themselves Islam yeah I mean like what we remember uh, uh, we, we follow Islam not the Muslims okay because there are some Muslims, do haram. Doesn't mean that it's Islam. Haram, haram means stuff which is sin, sin, forbidden things. Forbidden things, yeah? So we follow Islam. Islam is perfect. Muslims are not perfect. Exactly. 
Okay. Yeah, Islam is from God. Muslims are human beings. They have desires. They make mistakes. You understand? So well, let me make something clear to you. In Islam, Allah told us clearly in the Quran. I will say in Arabic, then I will translate in English. Yeah. لا ينهاكم الله عن الذين لم يقاتلوكم في الدين ولم يخرجوكم من دياركم أن تبروهم وتقسطوا إليهم إن الله يحب المقسطين. Allah doesn't not forbid you to deal justly and kindly with those who never fight against you. For example, I have a Christian that is my neighbor. He never attacked me. He never tried to kill me. Allah told me to be nice to him and to be good to him. No, no, exactly. even, if, even, even if he hates me, imagine he said, I hate you. I can't go kill him because he hates me. I remember he didn't ever say that if you've been hit on the floor, clap it on the face, you have to turn another thing. I don't know about that. Me, I can't. Yeah, it's, I know. It's, it's, it's a bit too much. Yeah, it's yeah, a bit too much. much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's like someone coming to kill your the mother kind of, and you give him your sister. Kind of, uh, try, try to be peaceful. Yeah. Try to be peaceful, yes. But, but, but Peter, what we have to understand, the world we live living in, Sometimes you have to fight, defend yourself. But try your best to stay away. Try, try your best. Protect yourself. Not when no, you fight or that's, or that's, yeah. that's what Allah said. Uh, yeah, in time. more probably the time was in the past when they were talking about turning your face to be slapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they no, no, people, uh, Allah said, in ta'fu If you forgive and overlook, that is good for you. That's the meaning of the first. Yeah. That's what I told him. You know, that's sister, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Second. It is in Quran also the, the way of saying you have to forgive 77 times or 7 per day. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Seek forgiveness from Allah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, this is uh, about if you see your Muslim brother doing something, you have to have excuses for him. 70 excuses. Plus, it's not my role to, do, to judge. So huh? It's not my role to judge him, whatever he done. Yeah, 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 no, no, we have to understand. Sometimes people have the excuses. For example, maybe one day you're walking, you are walking, and you see me coming out of uh, a gambling place. No, okay, no, I won't. I mean, I will Yeah, you think mind, you, you're mine. Cannot help it. Your yeah? Mind, yeah, but maybe I'm just using the bathroom. So I need the bathroom, you understand? I'm saying, or, or mine yeah. go quick to react. And react. Say, but Islam teaches you to control gambling. it. It's time to you know. But you don't know the true story behind. That's it. You don't. Before knowing the, story. the full picture. You're right. 100. percent That's what Islam teach us. That you should not straight away start guesswork, misjudging people. Yeah. So what I would say to you, Peter. Yeah. You know, Islam. Like I said to you, you want to worship God. You cannot keep worshiping God based upon a book that's corrupted. That is, there's uh, modified, changed. But the Quran is clear. Well, it will be, but then it will be a bit of contradiction because in the Bible they just asking you to believe that God, uh, Jesus being the Son of God and He depends on us to die for you, for your sin. And I, I could just stop there and say, okay, if I believe that Jesus died for my uh, sins, my sins, and uh, I believe in that, you see sacrifice, yeah. I so go to heaven. Obviously, you have to still follow the rules, like be good, do not kill, not lie, not steal, and so on. So, but you can but, do a sin and you will be forgiven. It's so easy. No judgment because he died for oh, you. But I, told you that, so I, I understand that it has a point. Uh, his story, the Jesus story, or me even more. No, no, what we say to you, look, you know this story of Jesus died for our sins? That go against the Old Testament. The Old okay, Testament. Ten rules. No, no, there's many rules. There's, well, uh, there's ten commandments. Ten, then. Yeah, there's many, many. There's, uh, there's uh, over a hundred of uh, rules. Over the Bible, yeah. yeah. But then they, no, no, the Old they, Testament. For the man, it's too much to follow. So they give them, just follow the ten rules. And if you follow them, you'll be fine. No, no, what I'm, talking, more, but. No, but what I'm talking about is that in the Old Testament, like about Trinity, you know, but Trinity is not in the Old Testament. Even the New Testament is not clear. But in the Old Testament, if you commit sin, you should be responsible. If I commit sin, I should be responsible. But in the Christianity, Jesus died for your sins. You go and guess Genesis, uh, Deuteronomy. In Deuteronomy, you know what it says? From me, I mean, uh, Protestants, we don't have that. You, you believe Jesus that for his sins? We don't have, uh, we, bap we take the bap baptism. Baptism. When we decide it, not young age or... Yeah, but you believe Jesus died for your sins? You, I believe, sorry? Jesus died for our sins. Yes. That got yes, unguessed. Wait, uh, no. Uh, because in the Bible, the Old Testament teaches you no one should die for your sins. My family sins, because of even my sins, probably before I baptized, probably I would say. 
Because when you bop is like that, what you, you swear, you say... Uh, Okay, Peter, let me, tell you, let me help you make clear. Prove to me Jesus said that. That's the problem. That's why that's I'm here. That's what I'm no? saying. You see, that's what I'm Forget about this. You can, we cannot prove it. I'm just saying what I knew. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. No, no problem. You can speak. No that's problem, brother. Yeah, yeah. And we don't know them. It's not about just someone. We don't know them. If we know them, they were trustworthy, truthful, honest. Alhamdulillah. We accept honest, truthful, and we have a chain of narration that met each other until Jesus. Yes. But we don't know them. We don't know the translators. We don't know who the manuscripts. How can we follow the book? That's what Allah said. Why are you, why are you following guesswork? Follow the truth. In yatabi'una illa dhanna wa ma tahawwa al-anfus wa laqad ja'ahum min rabbihim al-huda. They only follow guesswork, only conjecture, only uh, assumption. Okay, so let's say uh, then Muslim way is what? You just believe in that Muhammad is the last prophet in... No, no, no. Islam first how to become Muslim is to say there is no one worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad is the last messenger of Allah. Then the prayer, okay? So you show your love of God through the prayer, okay? Then you give, uh, of course, step by step. I'm just giving you, but uh, when someone becomes Muslim, we take it step by step. Not everything, you have to do everything. You know, because at the end of the day, we are human beings. You know, we, we take it step by step. So the prayer, then fasting, Okay, you fast, the month of Ramadan. Fasting is very beneficial for us. For us, for the environment, for the people, okay? Likewise, prayer is good for you. Also, charity. How many times you have people say, why there is a poverty? In Islam, there is a solution which is called sadaqa, zakat, charity. Yes? Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's, there's zakat. Have you ever had this discussion about, like, let's say, you see someone on the street, Young, look well, no, no, you help him. Bad arms or something, and he's asking for money. Mm. Sometimes your mind is thinking, but he's young, he can work. Why? What's he asking? For? Obviously, I, won't, I don't know his story behind. It's, it, that's right. Your yeah. mind is going there. What yeah. are you doing in that situation? I mean, I, you know, some, some, look, I, I give sometimes. He's old one, I go straight away and say. No, no, me is not about old one. It's not about old one. Here, I see. Yeah, but I, said one, to, I understand it's hard to find a job. It's no, but they, 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 they do pay them, but sometimes I fear that these people were smoking crack, smoking drugs. So why do I say, listen, do you need food? I don't know that, it's not my job. That's why I do, no, no, no. But I go to them, I say, do you need food? If he says yes, oh, yeah. okay. I'll buy him food. Do you need like clothes or something? I see, do you need, and I see if he needs money, I give him money, or, and I tell him, listen, I'm gonna give you money. I don't know your situation, but if you're gonna buy drugs with it, then it's, you're gonna be before God. I'm gonna help you, so I try my best. I'm not the best example to follow, but I try my best. But when it comes to Islam charity, there's two types. There is charity which you have to give to the poor. You have to. There is a charity which is, is uh, voluntary. You give, you, but they, uh, which we call zakatul mal, which is to pay, to give a charity from your wealth, 2.5. From your wealth, uh, 2.5. You have to give it to the poor ones. To the, not just a poor, even traveler. Someone is traveling and he doesn't have enough money, so you help them, alhamdulillah. But then we have... The Bible say something like, uh, what God give you, you have to give back also. Yeah, you have to help. And also the, the, the Hajj. So in Islam, how do we go to paradise? Firstly, by the mercy of Allah. That's the first way. Even Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, he said, everyone, those who deserve to go to paradise, they will go with the mercy of Allah. They said to him, oh, messenger of Allah, even you? He said, even me. I will enter the mercy of Allah. Because yes, we do good deeds, but one of the worst sin, one of the worst sin, when you start thinking, I'm doing enough good deed, so I deserve paradise, God. No. There's narration on the day of judgment. You have to have humbleness. Humble. Yeah, humility, humbleness. Be humble to God. Because regardless how much we worship God, we worship Allah, you will never be able to repay back Allah for his blessings. Even your eyes. There's narration on the day of judgment. Allah will say to the angels, take my servant to paradise because of my mercy. The servant will say, no Allah, because of my good deeds, I've been worshipping you for 80 years. Allah will say, bring him back. Take the blessings of his eyes, put it on a scale, and put his good works on the other scale. The blessings of the eyes is more heavier. He said, what you've done doesn't even equal to the blessings of the eyes, let alone the other blessings. So he's, Allah said, take him to hellfire because of his good deeds. He said, no, no, Allah, I want paradise because of your mercy. So Allah teaches us what? Regardless how much you worship Allah, 
always be humble and don't look down on people you know don't look down on people because looking down is a sin as well you know because you never know so alhamdulillah islam you can leave it christianity is about church be church you know islam is not just for you and me even for the government yes it's a lifestyle a way of life it's for you and the government you have to implement it you know because when you implement the teaching of god you have good society you have less crime look at now stabbing knives yeah knives now you know crazy you know because why we turn away from god but when you I, I was watching with my wife you know this man he tortured happened 2021 in Lewisham on new cross so these two guys they got two students they tortured them in new cross burned them yes and they killed them do you know how much they give the guy they gave him like 25 years or 35 years the police officer he said i had to go back try to get him alive but even get him alive prison here is a joke prison here is like hotel you get food you go to education you go i'm not i'm not promoting the prison yeah don't go to prison brothers okay <laughs> you know the job you have, they give you a job as well you know it, sometimes it's better than outside you don't have to pay bills but islam but believe it, all the people will be humble and they will yeah, we have to be realistic. No yes. Yeah, we are yeah. creating to be all perfect. If we are all perfect, no, the, the, God will take us and... No, the problem, with, the problem with this prison system is not helping the problems. It's, like, it, it, it's not resolving the problems. But God's teaching, if you steal something, uh, something which is uh, valuable, then your hand will be gone. Bye-bye to your hand. If you know that, you will not steal. No, 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 no. I don't want to steal. But if I know I'm going to rob someone, they're going to put me in prison for six months, and they're going to give me a job, food. I love it, man. Watch TV, you know. Because they're not afraid of prison. That, so prison no, is a lifestyle. A lifestyle. But if I, that's what Allah taught us in the Quran. Allah said, Allah's capital punishment, he gives you a life. What? How he give us a life? If it's a capital punishment. Because I know if I'm going to kill you, I'll be killed. I said, no, 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 no. If I kill him, I'll be killed. No. So I save two lives. I save your life and my life. Look to the Islamic legislation. That's why majority of people that hate Islamic capital punishment either they are ignorant or themselves are criminals. That's why they have punishment. They don't like it. How, what do you mean? Uh, hate the... They, uh, capital punishment. In Islam, there is a punishment for the criminals. Okay? In the Western world, that we call it Sharia. Have you heard the word Sharia? Yeah. Sharia means the divine law. Yeah? Divine. divine law, like taking care of your parents is a Sharia. But there is an aspect of Sharia called capital punishment. Those capital punishments is for the evil criminals. Okay? Two, as a deterrent. You know what is deterrent? Deterrent, scare them away. To not do evil. Okay? For example, if I know, if I kill you, I'll be killed, I'll be scared for my life. By the government. By the government. You're gone. I will explain for you because maybe you don't explain when he is talking about it. Okay? We have a law in Islam. If you steal, they will cut your hand. So, so you are a threat. No, but he wants to know who's they. They is the government. They is the Muslim government. That's the Muslim government. Yeah. No, they, they are not applying anymore this law because of uh, the right of human. That's what. Uh, That's not the right of human anyway. Uh, this is a joke. Exactly. Because the right of human. If, if I kill you, they should kill me. Muslims, they should kill me. If I kill you, but even so if you are not Muslim, I, I also. Hear, if I kill someone, okay, I, I will may be deserve that, killed. But yeah. Still, who are we to decide if you? Have it's to God be who decides, not God. us. God. We are following what God say for us. If but someone also, still cut his hand, what's if it, what? you cut their hand, no one gonna steal because they are no prison. You will cut his hand. Yeah, so but is a threat. If you kill someone, you are gonna be killed. killed. If if you kill him, they will kill you. So you will you will not be able to kill him. You'll otherwise, be scared for your life. Otherwise, yeah. exactly, you will take his life and your but, uh, life also. That's what Islam yeah. said to make us far away from that scene. But what about the 